what is going on guys so with the destiny 2 beta being over unfortunately i'm gonna take a look back and see some of the secrets and glitches that were found during the destiny 2 beta one of the first things that was found uh, was the lost sectors on nessus people realized that there was much more to explore than just the strike they headed over to the right side of the map and what do you know there's two lost sector symbols over there and what people believe to be the actual lost sector place um now people obviously found a way to glitch into that lost sector area it's just literally a circle room nothing nothing too much to explore but it is pretty interesting later on in the beta of course we had access to the farm and while people were there they discovered that there was a secret room behind the crypt arc uh, we're not sure if this was in here intentionally or if it was by accident and Bungie didn't mean to leave it in the beta was an older build of the game, so this might not be in the release of the game. It may be in the re release of the game if it was intentional. We'll have to wait to see. Um, some pretty weird things that happened on the Xbox side of things were Engrams dropping from Protheon at the end of the strike. People were getting blue guns, blue... Um, blue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the video. Did that guy just put 18 bullets into a Titan shield without even realizing it? Ooh, buddy. Armor pieces, just anything, any piece of equipment they were getting. It, but the weird thing about it, all of the gear that dropped was light level 201 or greater. So it's pretty interesting, and that shows that the light level is absolutely above level 200 because there's blue pieces of gear that are dropping at it. Later on, after they extended the beta past the, the 23rd, people were getting guided game tickets dropping at the end of crucible matches um they were dropping but they couldn't see they couldn't find them anywhere in their inventory a pretty weird thing that was happening was eight people were being put into the inverted spire strike um this would happen when someone would be loading up for a 4v4 crucible game and everyone would join the strike for some reason no one knows why but there were eight people in the strike at, at points which was crazy I unfortunately was never part of that, but that would have been sick. Um, two glitches that were found around the same time, actually, I don't know, the infinite super glitch I think was found first, but yeah, so there was the infinite super glitch, it was the same as the Destiny 1 infinite super glitch, you use your, use your super, has to be a roaming super, you hop on the sparrow or the pike, just a little, like half a second later, and then you have infinite super. Unfortunately, you could not use your movement abilities infinitely while you're in your super if you did the glitch. So this kind of killed a lot of potential with Dawnblade because people thought, well, I even I thought, I, I went ahead and did it, did the infinite super glitch on the Dawnblade and was very disappointed when I couldn't infinitely fly. But yeah, things happen. Another glitch that was found along the same lines was the third person glitch. You do not need your super for this. You just need a suppressor, a suppressor grenade and the titan wall, and you could have um, permanent third person, which was pretty interesting. It is different than Destiny 1's third person because it's not an over the shoulder. It's just kind of behind the back. It's a really awkward view of the third person. And one of the coolest things I think that was found was the cannon blink trick. Um, if you're riding in a man cannon, and you blink out of it around three quarters to the next uh, man cannon, you will actually divert your path and just keep the same momentum and you'll just fly past the man cannon and you can just go anywhere with it. It's crazy. Uh, it's really it's used in the speed run of the strike and it's actually a pretty useful glitch to know how to do. Uh, last but not least are the countless areas that were out of bounds that people discovered you know like exodus black i think it's called exodus black or whatever that area that whole area basically the entire nessus map was discovered or not the entire nessus map sorry the entire nessus playable map all the, like it was basically like a circle everywhere around it was discovered with out of bounds so we were pretty much um exploring everything just around the area that was available to us not only this, but also the homecoming mission, people were getting out of bounds on that and finding some pretty cool things. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up Destiny 2. Um, I'll be having a huge Destiny 2 beta finale video with all my clips from the actual Destiny 2 when it was playable um, from the beta.
beta, excuse me. It'll be like funny moments, cool clips, just all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be, it's like 40 minutes long. It's kind of crazy, but it, it's a really good video. It took me a long time to make, so I really hope you guys enjoy that and watch that. Uh, with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, uh, please leave a like. You know, it always helps, and take care.